Hey there Hunters, Lord here, back with another Monster Hunter Rise video. As most of you know, Monster Hunter Rise just released on consoles this month, and with that comes tons of new hunters to the game. So, you've just bought Monster Hunter Rise on your PlayStation or Xbox, you know that Sunbreak doesn't come out on your console until sometime this spring according to Capcom, so you've got a couple months to grind base Rise until that expansion comes out. So what do you do? I've been getting questions like, are the charms worth making now in base rise or will they all be useless in sunbreak? Will everything I do carry over or should I just not waste my time and wait till sunbreak comes out? Should I try to make meta sets from base rise? Is it even going to be worth it? Are the decorations worth making? Should you farm high rank end game materials? There's so many questions that are just up in the air right now. So I wanted to make this video to try and help you guys out as best I can to understand what you can do in base rise while you wait for sunbreak to come out. So for starters, we want to talk about charm farming, as this was the biggest endgame grind in base rise before sunbreak came out. The main question I've been getting is, should I spend all my time and materials grinding for really, really good charms? In short, I would say no. The longer, more thorough answer though is, only the most insane base game charms will still hold any relevancy once you get into Sunbreak, and they're way harder to get in base rise than they will be once Sunbreak releases, as Sunbreak has tons of new melding types that are a lot easier to get the kinds of charms that you want. My best advice to you guys is to meld charms until you've got something with some usable skills like Wirebug Whisper, or Fortitude, Evade Window, etc, something like that, but that has really good slots. The slots are going to be far more valuable since you can craft almost all your major skills with decorations. So just going until you get some usable skills with like 3-2-1 slots or 3-1-1 slots or something like that should be more than enough to tide you over until Sunbreak. Another question that I've gotten from the new console hunters is, will my stuff from base rise carry over into Sunbreak? Yes, it will. Sunbreak is just an expansion, a DLC if you will, an addition to base rise that adds new monsters and a new difficulty level. Every piece of armor, every weapon, every decoration, and every material that you get in base rise will still be there when you load into Sunbreak for the very first time. Now this is actually a very good thing because sometimes once you reach Sunbreak you'll want to craft this insane master rank weapon, but you'll have to actually start the weapon tree down in high rank, so you'll need those base materials from Rise in order to do that. You'll have no needs to worry about whether or not you're wasting your time by just grinding in vain, as it will all still matter once Sunbreak comes out. One thing I will add is that in a lot of the meta sets, especially for bow in base rise, we use the rampage weapons. There are no master rank upgrades for the rampage weapons. And while they may be fun to use in base rise, if you're more concerned about things that will carry over to sunbreak or will have use in sunbreak, I would say skip out on the rampage weapons for now. Next, should you try and get the best high rank meta sets from base rise? Now this is kind of iffy and again it's kind of up to your personal preference but I personally would say yes or as close as you can get to those strong meta sets. Once you get into Sunbreak the monsters will hit harder and have far more health. So having a really strong high rank set to help you farm in the early game until you can craft better weapons and better armors to make a better master rank set will be very very important. At around 3 star master rank, you'll start to have access to enough monsters and materials where you'll be able to make a much more serviceable master rank set that will be a higher damage weapon and a higher defense armor than any of your high rank sets. Again, your skills may not be as crazy, but having the higher defense and higher damage will kind of balance that out. So again, to reiterate, I would make a really strong high rank set with some of your stronger weapons that you enjoy. I definitely wouldn't recommend wasting a bunch of time making meta sets for all 14 weapon classes and all these different types because once again once sunbreak drops you'll start going into those master rank armors and your high rank armors will fall off. So don't go too overboard but a few good meta sets will carry you a long way. Down in the description below and in the pinned comment I will leave some links to some of my favorite meta rise sets so if you need some ideas for what to farm for you can go check those videos out down below. The last question I've been getting a lot is, should I make the decorations that are available in high rank or will they be completely obsolete once I get to master rank? Yes, make those decorations. I cannot stress this enough. Make all the decorations that you can in base rise before sunbreak. That way you won't have to spend your time farming high rank decorations once you get into master rank. 
I can't tell you how often I still use your attack deco, tenderizer, spread, critical, brace, recoil, reload, etc. decorations in my master rank sets. They will be super useful in case you ever need one level of a skill or you only have a level 2 or a level 3 slot. You're definitely going to want to grind to get those made before Sunbreak comes out. Now, the final question I get is, well, should I even get Sunbreak when it comes out? Yes, 100 times yes. It adds so, so much to Rise. The end game content is far better than the base game. There's tons of new monsters, skills, quests, armor, and weapons that can totally change the way you play the game, as well as tons of new silkbind attacks, silkbind swaps, a whole new map. I mean, there's just a ton. It's 100% worth it. And plus, if you're not super hype on spending another 60 whatever dollars on quote an expansion, it goes on sale all the time. I think right now on Steam, it's on sale for 25% off. So if you're willing to wait a little bit longer than right when it comes out, you'll definitely be able to find it for a bit cheaper than full price. In my opinion, if you played, beat, and enjoyed Base Rise, you will love Sunbreak and should 100% pick it up. Now, even though Sunbreak will have a ton to offer, I don't want you guys to sleep on Base Rise. It's still a really great game with tons of hours to be dug into it, and the grind is still there and is worth it to help set you off on the right foot once Sunbreak does drop in the spring. You have a couple months to kill until Sunbreak comes out. Why not go all in on Rise now while you still can? So that's all I've got for this one guys. If you did find the video helpful, be sure to leave a like down below so that way you can help spread this message to the other hunters. If you're new here or new to Monster Hunter in general, consider subscribing to my channel. I've made tons of videos that will help you guys with different types of sets for all different kinds of weapons. So if you're interested in more Monster Hunter in general, definitely check out my channel and the other videos that I have to offer. And of course, as Sunbreak continues to come out, we've got a new title update coming out soon. I'm going to be uploading more and more content covering it. And so once you guys get Sunbreak, you won't want to miss it. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and happy hunting.